this is a play I'm going to continue to make, and I know our other co-host, Josh, um, or better known as Punt School, also loves these plays. It's time for a Celtics team total over. The Boston Celtics are visiting the Chicago Bulls. They're laying six points. The total is 225. Celtics pretty solid favorites on the money line there at minus 230. Um, you know, the spread here looks pretty good to me at six. The total maybe just a little bit low at 225, but you dig a little bit lower. You see the Celtics team total here is still only 115 and a half points, which may sound a little bit high, but this number is still being based off prior year data where the Celtics played much slower. And what we've seen in these first few games, the pace is much higher than it has been for them in the past. Past. They're doing a great job for pushing um, on points off turnovers to try to keep the pace high and to try to attack a lot more quickly and um, early in the shot clock. So I think we're just going to continue to play these team total overs for the Celtics until we see an adjustment. I have this number closer to 117 and a half. So give me the Celtics team total over 115 and a half. Ski, what do you think of this game? Um, I like your play and I'm still, you know, I still remember last year when Celtics defense took a dive whenever Robert Williams was out. So we'll see. Um, it's their third game in four nights. Uh, you know, when you're tired, I think defense is the first thing to go out the window. So in my mind, Chicago doesn't have a lot of good defenders over there. Boston will continue to score with Tatum and Brown. And I think Chicago will be able to return serve a little bit on their side too. So I might even like a full game over here. I was trying my hardest uh, to try to find reasons to bet Boston because last year, if you faded Chicago versus all the good teams and good teams for me are, Teams with the 55% win percentage are better. There are 66% uh, losers straight up and 58.9% um, fade against the spread. So I really want to try to be on Boston. Maybe that team total is the way to go. No, it's, I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, it was something we saw all last year. The Bulls, for whatever reason, really struggled to play against top talent. We know Levine isn't 100%. I see a nod in Chris. You like all the way all this sounds? I do. I, I took the Celtics at minus four and a half. The you know line going up to six is a little much for me, but I like the team total. Uh, you know, I, I I think the Celtics are in a different class than the Bulls. This isn't a bad spot for the Bulls, but they were just at home and they didn't look very good against the Cavs, did they? So I don't think necessarily this is a better that much better of a spot for the Bulls. The Celtics have off until Friday, I believe, after this game, so they can look forward to that rest. Uh, one thing I'll say that I've noticed, and I would love to get your uh, both of your inputs on this. You know, Zach, in, Zach Levine, uh, when he's the leading scorer for the Chicago Bulls, last season they lost about 60% of those games where he was the leading scorer, 60 to 65%. Um, if you go back and look, straight up. Okay, so we're, so we're not talking about against the spread. But something that just I noticed, I think Zach Levine's a good player. He could be explosive. But I do think that he somewhat disrupts the space of the Bulls offense. Things just look a little more disjointed, I think, when he's kind of at the helm and taking charge. And that's what I'm seeing in some of these games, too, when he was incorporated back. Um, it's just an offense that I don't trust because it's too up and down. We saw that a lot last year, too, right? I mean, to Ski's point, they couldn't beat the good teams. They beat the bad teams, and their offense would soar. You know, they would, they would look uh, incredible. And then they would go against formidable defenses, and they would completely fall apart. So, you know, the Boston Celtics are definitely a formidable defense. They look like they're in great form. So I lean towards the Celtics here for all the same reasons you guys said. But it's just something that I'm watching on the Bulls because I'm not sure that their, their offense is that cohesive. And I think some of that might be because of Zach Levine. That's interesting. It'll be something I'll be going back and look for, sure. 